at the ID TechX and uh, who are you? Uh, I'm Asad Khan from Kent Displays, makers of Boogie Board, and I oversee some of the technical development uh, for our products. The so Boogie Board the writing CTO. Yes. All right, and this is the Boogie Board. It's, uh, it's quite popular, right? Yes, it is. It's an amazing writing experience, completely analog, right? Fingernail, stylus, you can do whatever you want. And when the push of a button, you can electronically erase. These tablets are everywhere in the market and consumer retail and retail from anywhere in the U.S. for, for somewhere from $15 all the way to, to $40 or so. So how does it work? How do you send a signal? Or how does, what is the signal that goes in to so, so wipe all, it off? All, all we're doing with this thing is, is you're, you're really applying pressure, which creates a deformation and that forces flow. The liquid crystal inside flows and it's bistable, so it stays where you left it until you push the erase button. And the erase does like a sense current everywhere in the yes, whole it's, screen? Or? it's one pixel, so that's why when you look at the, the line fidelity, uh, it's, it's extremely, extremely high resolution because there are no pixels. It's completely analog. So it's like ink on paper? Correct. So, it, and it's instant and feels like writing for real. We always like to say that if you have to ask about how much is the response time, it probably is too long. The response time is like pen on paper. It's instant. There is no time. And while you write, there's no power at all happening. Correct. And, uh, and so you have capacity to make unlimited of this material. What's inside? Uh, so inside is a liquid crystal polymer mixture, and, and that's what we produce in our in our roll-to-roll -roll factories in Kent, Ohio, in the U.S. And um, and and then we 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 design and build consumer products using those e-writer displays, and and the e-writer products are then sold globally. We also sell films, uh, e-writer films, to other OEM customers for for unique applications and Im embedded stuff, such as mobile phone cases and things like that. So, and then you have a transparent right here. Yes. Is so, it quite popular? Yes, so I have a, I have a new, new product to show you here, which is, which is a toy product we launched. Um, and, uh, and this is also a boogie board, which has transparency. And, and I can now uh, look through it and trace things. Uh, for kids, for different applications, and just a fun can also be used. We we have things like uh, our play and trace uh, um, templates, so kids can draw of different types, uh, different models, things like that, and um, and kids can can play with it. They're learning ones. There's also mobile apps for iPad that can give more moving content for educational purposes and things like that. Nice. And you have color? Yes. So now, uh, after all this, what we're doing is we are also uh, uh, have, have released this uh, very recently, this new product, which is similar to our boogie board, same writing experience, but, but now has multiple colors in it. And, and because of that, it's, it's for, for kids, for fun factors. This is the boogie board, scribble and play. And, and all what you can do is you can use these different styluses to, to play with it, to write on it. Again, the same erase. Uh, and, and kids have a really fun time. This has been very, very popular and is expected to be um, uh, a, a very big seller this this holiday season. You have a, a also a new product that's transparent and color. Yes, so so we're we're very proud to introduce also through uh, through our TV campaign a product that sells through the TV channels. It's called Magic Sketch, and and that product is very similar to this. has has color, but it's transparency. Also, the color and transparency are combined, and we really encourage people to go to MagicSketch.com to look at that product. It's, uh, it's being sold on TV and online right now. It's a pretty good price, right? Yes. So it should be popular in the millions or what? Well, we, we, don't, we don't talk about the volumes, but, but yes, the, the idea is that this, this could be a very big program for both for us and for in the, in the toy and the retail markets and then, then potentially grow from there globally. Right now it's limited to North America. And uh, so I guess as a CTO at uh, Ken Displays, you, you have all kinds of projects and potential ways you might go and considering to do, right? Sure, sure. So we work a lot, uh, a lot of our time is spent on 
uh, different performance levels and brightness and contrast and line width and reliability, robustness, new technologies, how to integrate more things into it, working with OEM customers and ourselves. There's so many different things we do. We actually really honestly have a lot of fun also because this is such an incredible technology to work with where we are touching and feeling things all the time in, in the e-writer space. So we also work with sensing technologies in order like our boogie board sync, which uses an EMR sensor. We're working on other sensing technologies that make them lower cost or transparent to be able to put those in in next generation products. So you can uh, uh, combine with a with touch uh, sensor to record, right? Yes, so, so there, you... there are different ways to do it, whether it's metal mesh sensors and capacitive or resistive sensors or electromagnetic resonance sensors. So there are different sensing technologies. Everything has pros and cons and cost benefit. Um, so, so we try to figure out what's the best fit for particular product lines. So um, uh, the can display, the CHLC, it doesn't have, uh, it, like it's analog, mm -hmm. so there's unlimited resolution kind of. But when you do all these sensors, they have a limited resolution, no? Correct. So the sensing, the writing will still have this amazing feel. The sensing will, the, you're digitizing that writing. So when, once you digitize, there will be some resolution. Our boogie board sync really has uh, an EMR sensor that has very, very high resolution. So we actually don't even use the entire resolution available in the sensor. Keep the file sizes small. The files are recorded as vector PDFs. And, and so they really are incredible in terms of analog look and feel and re represent very closely what uh, the actual writing is and the actual writing experience. So I'd like to see this in the back of phones, of tablets, are you working in that direction? Yeah, so we have, uh, here's, here's my phone and, and so we do have, this is one of our customers that has, here's my iPhone on the left and on the right is, uh, is, is, is one of our e-writing tablets which which again, you write on it and, and then you can erase. In this case, it's not connected, it's just a simple memo pad in order for me to jot down what time is lunch, let's meet at 12 o'clock for lunch, things like that. But, but yes, we are working and through other customers working on applications where there will be sensing in those, perhaps more designs that can be integrated closer. We have customers that do inking pads and, and those kinds of applications, signature authentication. So there are lots of e-writing applications that, that our product is, is in, in place through, through, those, through those partners. There's many places where you go and there's, they have a little pad where you have to sign, yes, you know? Yes. But you don't actually see your signature. Or they get scratched up or they're hard to see. There, there are lots of nuances and that's where our technology comes in is really good good fit for that so you can really have a very good visual feedback and tactile feedback of literally as if you were using ink on paper uh, but yet it's electronic so, so it's just you just add your screen on top right it's the same yes. under it but it's just your screen on top yes so that's a really way really easy and good way to do it and that's all comes from the transparency of the material which is inherent and it's, if you do it as a case for a phone is there any, uh, uh, is, is it fragile? Is it possible that the can't displays get scratched up or does it have to um, be? Sure, sure. So, so everything has some limits or some, some level at which they can break down, but, but our stuff is made out of rugged plastic. So compared to phones which have fragile glass screens, the plastic part is actually very, very uh, robust and for, for shock and impact and things like that. Of course, you can take a sharp object and scratch or damage the screen because you're touching a plastic material. So, so those kinds of things do do remain. But, but we have millions of products in the marketplace, and, and both from toys and kids to to home and office applications, and they tend to do really well. I'd like to see like a phone case or tablet case where you can just swap out the display if it gets used up too much or scratched up. You just swap the just your display is not so expensive, right? Well, no, the display part in all of these applications is is the is the expensive part. But but yeah, in this application, for example, it's the, this this uh, the, the little boogie board piece is removable, and not not exactly sure what you're what you're asking. But I'm yeah, talking about just the display to swap it out, put a new one in. You can, but uh, it's it's got a really long lifetime and it's very rugged. I've had this case for a long time. Uh, all of these products that I've been showing you are are really robust.
So and you can see here, it's it's flexible, it's plastic. There's it's got functions really well. These kinds of things are not these kinds of things are not so easy to do with with your typical glass based. Uh, products like your phones and, and tablets and things like that. So so the ruggedness and robustness of our products is inherent, which is makes them really good for home office use. They can last long as well as for kids. So uh, this is 2016. So which, what year do you think everybody in the world is going to be using Ken Displays? How soon can it happen? I'm pretty sure that's 2017 is what we're talking. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't know. Certainly, certainly that's that would be a pretty lofty goal, but. But we are our our growth has been very consistent and and has been going year over year. We started boogie boards in 2010 and and going very strong. So we have really strong hopes, and it's it's becoming more and more prevalent. You can you can now see people with them. You can hear about them. So it's uh, and they're really available uh, in in a tremendous amount of retail outlets uh, globally. So so it, it continues to grow, and we we have high hopes of of really really good growth in the coming years. This Christmas is going to be uh, interesting. Yeah, 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 we have a lot of products and 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 of course for for us this is a in in retail this is a really big season in in the North America market and and we look forward to it. It seems that all the indicators say that it's it's good, it's strong and, and we're excited about 2017. There's more and more kids out there and they all like to to scribble. You know, it's a good solution for parents who are looking for gifts, who are looking for gifts for kids. For, for birthday parties, things like that. So this is really good for gifting and we have so many different price points that it really, there's something for everyone. Are you focusing also in Europe and Asia and everywhere? We have, we have a lot of, uh, Japan is a big market for us, Australia. We do sell a lot in China, in, in other parts of, of the Far Eastern markets. Europe is also, we're present, we have distribution in Europe as well. So, so we tend to, to, to address a, a wide variety of, of global markets. We actually have strong presence in the Middle East as well. Right, and the people with new projects should contact you and see if there's a chance that you can work together. We'd love to hear from, from anyone that wants to talk to us and come and visit kentdisplays.com or myboogieboard.com and that, uh, that's a good place to start and reach out to us with ideas, with questions, with comments and and, and, and everyone writes. Uh, writing is, is part of human nature. We all do it. And, and this is a really great and fun experience to have. So everyone should experience it.